I don't wanna lose you now. Yo. Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we are going to talk about the Cartesian product of two sets. Now, what is a set? A set is a collection of elements which are similar to one another. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna find the Cartesian product or at least have an algorithm to find the Cartesian product of elements for us. So let's say we have set A. So set A uh, contains numbers or you know elements A comma B. Two simple, very simple elements. Now we have another set called set B and that contains elements, uh, let's say one comma two comma three. Um, obviously, they don't have to be the same length. Um, so both the sets, when you multiply them, they don't have to be the same length. They can be the same length if they want to be like, that's up to them, like set A and set B get to decide, not me. So when you multiply them or you find the Cartesian product of set A and B, so I'm just going to write CP of A comma B, which is which stands for Cartesian product of A comma B. That is going to be, a, let's say, a big brace bracket. And in that, I'm going to basically write the, the answer. So it's going to be A1. So it's going to be A1, A1, comma. It's going to be A2. So A2. Then it's going to be A3. So it's going to be A, comma, 3. And you, you get the idea, right? It's so simple. It's like literally drawing arrows. And you have B1, B2, and B3. So this is literally it. So this is the Cartesian product of set A and set B. You don't multiply anything. You don't do anything else. You literally take the first set, take each element, and add it with each of the other elements. Take the second element in the set or third or whatever in a loop. So as you know, it's a loop, right? Yeah, that's, that's literally, this is literally it. So let's take a look at the code and, um, you know, take a, take a closer look at how this actually works. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to, you know, illustrate the point a little bit better. Maybe not that much, it's too much zoom for me. So we have defined this function here. It's called the Cartesian product CP. And it takes two parameters, that is set A and set B. So these are the two parameters which it takes. And um, this is obviously your first set and this is obviously your second set. And both of these sets are in the form of a list. No, not that, it's a list. L-I, not E, L-I-S-T, I just don't know how to spell. It's a list or an array. In Python, lists and arrays are, you know, interchangeable. So the first thing that we do is that immediately after you, you know, you get into the function, the first thing that you do is you check if the length is zero. Now, if the length is zero, it means it contains no elements, no elements. So literally, there is no need to, you know, go through the entire program because there are no elements and you just return none. That's it. You're done. You're done. You return none and you get out of the loop. So the control is basically returned back to the function call. Similarly, with set B, if the length is zero, you do the same thing. You return none and the control is given back to the function call. This is the function call, by the way. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So then once you get through all of that mess, you basically come over here and you figure out that, okay, I have the product over here. I have the product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a product list. So even this is a list or an array. It is interchangeable. This is a list. This is going to be that big thing that, you know, that stored our, you know, our answer or our list, our couple answers. And um, yeah, that's, that's literally it. So this is our product. It's a list. Then we're going to use a for each loop for each loop. We're going to use a for each loop to go through all the elements in the set. So the, um, in this particular loop over here, there are two loops that happen. First one is the top level loop and the second one is the nested inner loop. So the outer loop and the inner loop. Now the inner loop goes over the first array, the first set, if I was to be more precise. And the second uh, for loop goes over the set B, that is the second. So let me just, you know, set A and set B. So the, the outer loop gives you the elements in set A and the inner loop gives you the elements in set B. So basically you go, uh, this will give you A, B, C and this will give you one, two, three, obviously. 
verbatim. So you have here you have A coming in and then you have 1, 2 and 3. Here you have again B coming in and then you have 1, 2 and 3 and then you have C coming in and you have 1, 2 and 3 again. And here you have product dot append element A comma element B. So element A comma element B, element A comma element B, element A comma element B. Similarly, in the next outer loop, element A comma element B, you get the picture, right? It's pretty obvious at this point of time. So this is a, a nested for loop and this is the entire program. And then after this is executed, now product will be appended or product will store so this is the appension. So you're basically appending this, this entity inside of the list. So this list will contain this entire entity. And then you basically return the product and you print it out and you live happily ever after. So that is the entire program. It was literally, a, it, it, this is not a very complicated algorithm, but I wanted to cover it just for completion's sake. I hope even though that, that you understood this algorithm and uh, if you really like this content, please like and share, subscribe to the channel to you know support it and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I will see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Have fun.